I love the television. I would never truly admit how much television I watch. I would certainly never admit how much television my four-year-old daughter watches to the mothers in the schoolyard. And yet we all do it. I will stay up with bleeding eyes watching those shows that I absolutely love. I will make time for television. I will make exceptions for something that is great. And so will you. So I'm here today to talk about the revenge of the television. What it is is really simple. It's just the idea that the television has always been there. It's in the middle of our lives, and even though it's under, I think, one of the greatest threats there, there has been in a very long time, it will be back. And it's not just because of the big picture or the big sound. It's because it's immersive. It sucks you in. You have a relationship with the television and what's coming at you. I'm sure everybody in this room will agree that the best thing to do on the television is play games. We are in control of the action. We are in control of the environment. I'm not me anymore. I'm the character that I want to be or that thing I want to be, right? It's the big escape. And we all know this. Console gaming has more players. There's more time spent, and there's more dollars spent playing console games than any other gaming platform. We need to do for games what cable television did for network television. Shows like The Sopranos and The Shield and Wire, Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, they never would have happened on network television. They don't follow the formulaic plot line. It would never happen. So by opening up the television, what cable did is it brought us different experiences, things we didn't want. They didn't recreate what was there. They did something new. It's time to do that again, and this time it's time to do it for the gaming console. To open it up, we put the power back in the hands of the people who make things. And in this room, it's the creators. It's the developers and the publishers, giving them the power again to decide what price do they want to charge this game? How long of a game does it have to be? What platform do I want it to be on? What platform do I want it to launch on? I'm going to show you some clips from um, a contest that just ended a couple days ago. We did a game jam with Kill Screen, where we gave people seven days' notice to create a 10-day prototype for Ouya. We had 166 submissions. 166! 10 days. I mean, this is really exciting. You just have to rethink the television and bring great content back to the gamer. I would suspect that every single one of us in this room has some game idea that they've been noodling for the last six months. Some IP based on some great character that you think fills a void. Ouya, and there are many things like us, provide now an opportunity for you to get that vision out there. If you think about all the Marios and Sonics that hit the cutting room floor, it just hasn't have to be that way anymore. It would cost less money, it would take less time, and you could deliver on your dream, on that idea that you've had for such a long time, and deliver it to the platform that inspired you to have that dream, not the one that's convenient or some alternative that's just easier to get to. My suggestion to everyone in this room is find a way to make it yours again and bring great content back. Thank you. Hey, I'm Noah Gould, and you're watching ENTV. Hey, I'm Rika Rodriguez from Modern Family, and you're watching ENTV. My name's Chris Pratt, and you are watching ENTV.